Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Don't I look a little bit different today? So today I've done a Deepika inspired makeup look and everything else look. Jewelry, clothes, everything. I try to get as close to Deepika's as possible. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of the eye look she did and I try to do something quite similar. So hopefully you guys like how it looks. Just to let you guys know, because I know a lot of you will be wondering about the jewellery. The jewellery, everything that I'm wearing on my wrists and my hands, everything is from Kinza, um, which is on Green Street. That's everything except the nut. This is my mum's nut. And um, what else was I going to say? My um, clothes are all from Seema on Green Street as well. So see my saris on Green Street. So yeah, I'll link the two uh, companies down below. Thank you so much to Kinza and Seema for helping me with this video. You guys are amazing. I couldn't have done it without you guys. If you guys like this look, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. I'm trying to get to 100k subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll let you guys watch the video. Yay! Finally! Let's get started with the makeup. So, I've already prepped my skin. I, I did this a few hours ago. I put cream on. This was this is Bare Haven from Bare Minerals. I've been loving this as a makeup base recently. And I also used a bit of the Skin Longevity Eye Cream from Bare Minerals. So, I think I'm going to start off with the eyes because she did go quite smoky. So, I don't want to ruin my concealer or my base with black eyeshadow um, afterwards. So let's start off with eyes. I'm going to use some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in light medium and this is just to sort of correct the colour on my lids. Blending that in with a Real Techniques brush. So I'm going to actually just do the top part of my eyeshadow and then the lower lid. Is that called a lid? Like the lower lash line all of that I'll do after my foundation and concealer. So I'm just going to quickly set that with my Meet Matte Nude palette. I'm going to use, let's use Matte Sing because she did go quite pink on her lid. So I'm just going to set the lid with this colour. It's really lightly. Matte Sing and she married Renvir Sing. How? That is just fate. So let's start with the eyeshadow. She went quite pink on the lid. So I'm going to use the lightest shade here in the Blushing Berries palette and I'm going to use the same fluffy brush for this because it wasn't too dense, it was just like a wash of colour on the lid. Let's just put this all over the lid. I wonder who her makeup artist was. This colour really brings out the green in my eyes, I had no idea. Moving on now to the crease colour, I've just gone quite mauve with this. What I'll do is slightly map out the colour with this one. Next up this is Roseberry and I'm going to use the same brush for this because I'm not going to pack a lot of colour on with this shade anyway. This is just to sort of get a guide of how I want the shape to be. I'm going to sort of build up on that crease colour because she went quite smoky in the outer half of her eye. So I'm going to go in with this colour next, this is Mixed Berries. I'm going to just dab a little bit of this on the tip of my brush, this is the 228 from Zoeva. I'm going to take off most of the colour on my brush because I, I don't want to just put too much on in one go. And then I'm going to slowly build this inwards, deposit the colour in the outer crease and then just slowly bring it in. I think she took it about halfway, so that's about how much I'll do. While I'm filming this right now, Brianka has just uploaded a picture of her Sangeet. I'm assuming her wedding will be quite soon as well, so I'm really excited to see what kind of look she's going to go for. I'm guessing she's going to go quite traditional because so far she has been quite traditional. 
What was your guys' favourite look from Deepika's three or four days? So that's the sort of shadow done in the on the lid. Now I'm going to take a more defined brush. So this is the 227 from Zoeva and I'm going to use Matt Garcia from the same uh, palette from the balm that I used before, the Meet Matte Nude palette. This is similar to the one I used before but it's a little bit more of a brown tone rather than purple. So I'm going to take this and this is going to deepen up that crease. It's quite defined in the crease, it's not so diffused this darker shade so keeping this quite concentrated. What do you think so far? I'm doing the crease now. She went quite defined in the crease. Yeah. Uh, Brian Girls uploaded a picture, have you seen, of her Sangeet? Uh, the multicolored one. No, no, today. So how many weddings are so hard to keep up? <laughs> it's only two. Okay guys, I need to get back to filming now. Love you. Bye. Bye. I'm just gonna sort of connect this just in the outer corner. Just make it darker here as well. Like I have done in the crease. I think I'm actually going to need sellotape for this, so I'm just going to go grab some and I'll be right back. For the sellotape, I'm going to take this, not exactly wh where this corner is, I'm going to take it just a little bit below that because hers comes quite low. Okay, I'm going to build up more with this matte Garcia and I'm going to take a bit of this matte rose rosin, rosin as well. I'm going to mix the two and just build up that colour in the outer corner. So now that I have the sellotape down, I can just build the shape really easily. Also from what I can see, it looks like it's all matte shadows. That's why I'm not using any shimmers. And now I'm going to use a bit of this ASOS uh, eyeliner pencil. This is like a gel formula and it's quite nice and dark. So I'm going to just I'm not going to use liquid liner for this because I don't think she's got a very harsh line. It's all very soft and smoky. So I'm going to take this along the outer corner and then I'm going to go over this with eyeshadow because that's the sort of look that I'm getting. I've got no idea what she actually used. But this is what it looks like. This is the brow line brush from Zoeva. It's quite a dense one. So I'm going to use this one to just sort of smudge out this line as best as I can. And then on top of that I'm using my 317 from Zoeva. It's a winged liner brush and I'm going to use the black from the Blushing Berries palette. And I'm going to go over this um, line that we've created and just sort of diffuse it out a little bit. I'm just going to diffuse this with one of the brushes I used before. Make sure everything's blending in seamlessly. I'm just going to repeat the last two steps until I get it as smoky as I want. I'm not putting any more product on this wing liner brush. I'm just sort of going over the edge with no product. That just helps it to diffuse into the more V shades that we used before. I'm going to take this off now. I'm going to do my foundation and I'm going to use my Fenty foundation in the shade 240 and I'm going to use the foundation as it is. I usually mix it in with something to make it a little bit more dewy but since Deepika went quite matte with her base I don't even think she used highlighter. Maybe she did but can't really tell much from the pictures so I'm going to use a flat um, brush. This is the Cover FX Cream Foundation Brush purely because I forgot my beauty blender in my room and I'm filming in my sister's but I do want quite a full coverage because Deepika has flawless skin and I on the other hand do not. I'm gonna do my little trick of leaving the foundation a little bit heavier where I need more coverage and then blending out afterwards bringing this down 
think I'll put a little bit on my chest as well to make sure my face and my chest match. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the same tart shape tape that I used on my lids under my eyes. The Picard's under eyes are actually quite bright in her wedding video, oh, when wedding picture, I wish I saw her wedding video, <laughs> um, in the pictures. So I'm gonna use my usual light sand after this as well. I'm just gonna blend this in. This brush is great for concealer. It's the uh, Real Techniques. It says 200 on it. I don't know if they actually sell them by themselves. This came in a pack with two other ones. I'm gonna get my beauty blender. I really need it for my concealer. I'm just gonna quickly do a once over on my foundation as well. Now for the slightly lighter shade. I'm using Light Sand. And I'm not gonna take this in the usual like triangle. I'm gonna take it more on the cheeks. I'm just looking at how she's done it and she seems to have highlighted more in this area, more in the centre and then her nose is quite highlighted as well. I'm just taking some on my nose, on my chin and my forehead. It's sort of highlighted in a semicircle that's how I'm doing it. I'm going to set that now with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to bake because I need this to look as flawless as possible. For my brows I'm going to use Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Deepika went quite warm with her brows. Her hair is a little bit more warmer than mine as well but I'm gonna stick to the colour that suits me but I'll try and make my shape a little bit similar to hers so it's more sort of straight and round no harsh angles where her arch starts or anything and I'm gonna set my brows in place with the legendary brows from Charlotte Tilbury to add a little bit of warmth into them as well. This is in the shade Supermodel. I'll keep them in place and just add a touch of warmth to them as well. Time to take off the powder under my eyes. For my contour I'm using a big fluffy brush. This is the 101 from Zoeva and I'm going to use uh, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer to contour quite a cool tone. I'm going to do this quite lightly, she didn't go too heavy with it but she's definitely got some contour on. I think it comes down quite low as well onto the apples of the cheeks and then around the temples as well. I can't see much of her forehead because she's got a really big dick on. She's got a very defined jawline and I don't so gonna chisel that out. Now onto blusher, I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush and she's really not got much colour on her cheeks. It, it does look a little bit peachy though so I'm going with the Bare Minerals That Peach Though Gen Nude Blush. I think I'll stop there, she's really not got much on. Now for highlight, it really looks like she's not wearing any but she must have been wearing some right it's probably just the pictures like I, I can't see any really close-up pictures of her face on this day so i'm gonna use something quite subtle i'm using my new hourglass ambient lighting palette i've never dipped into this before so i'm just gonna i'm gonna take the highlight shade which is this one here on a morphe m510 brush love this brush for highlight really lightly highlight. I imagine she was wearing something like this, something that's like barely there, lit from within kind of look. I'm going to take this onto sort of like the centre as well, put a little bit down the centre as well because her nose looks quite highlighted. I'm going to contour my nose which I don't usually do but the big girl's got a quite a defined nose. So I'm going to take my big fluffy Sigma E40 brush, I love this brush. I'll use my Too Faced bronzer that I use to contour. 
Sorry my hair's a mess guys, I'm gonna fix it and put all my jewellery and everything on as well, so. Just gonna lift the tip of mine a little bit to make it look like hers a bit more. Now moving on to the eyes, I've just given my lashes a quick curl. And I'm going to do my lower lash line, she's gone very smoky on her lower lash line and I'm going to use just the brown colour that we used, this one on the lower lash line. It doesn't look like she's used the mauve shade, so I'm just going to take this one, really try and smoke it out, make sure there's no harsh edges where the shadow stops. And I'm taking this colour quite low down because I'm going to use a black as well so th this colour is what the black will diffuse into and now with the angled brush back into my Blushing Berries palette I'm using the black actually before I do this I'm going to use a eyeliner so this is the ASOS one that I used on the top I'm putting this in my waterline and she's gone quite pointy on her inner corner I'm going to use the black um, eyeshadow. I'm just going to sort of create a point like she's got as well, which I didn't do earlier. So I'm just doing this now with some eyeshadow. I'm using the same shadow just on my lower lash line. And I'm going to smoke this out into the brown. Really like this makeup look. Looks so um, dramatic. Okay, on to my lashes now. I'm using the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. And you'll notice I'm not using the waterproof one, which I always use. Um, and that's because I got a lash lift. But the lashes, the, the lash lift is kind of subtle, so I did just curl my lashes as well. I might just skip the false lashes because. It really doesn't look like she's wearing any. Either she's got very thick natural lashes or she's got very subtle lashes on. I feel like her lashes just look like this to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip the falsies. I was gonna use the Ardell Wispies but I think I'll skip them. So, lastly the lips. So she's got quite a, it's like a brownie pink. It's a bit hard to describe but I think the closest colour I have is um, very Victoria from Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a really nice brown. It's, it's a nice nude colour, but it's a bit on the deeper side. So I'm going to go with this, um, but I am going to line my lips first. I think I'll go with Hot Gossip. Yeah, this is a good one. And I've had such a bad time with my lips recently. I don't know what's happened, but they're so dry. It's kind of like I've got an allergic reaction to something and she hasn't overlined or anything so I'm just gonna follow a natural shape. I've been meaning to do the Charlotte Tilbury swatch video but my lips have just been so dry. I've never had lips like this. Now onto the lipstick, I'm going straight from the bullet. Is it a really nice comfortable formula as well? Okay, it looks like that's the kind of main colour she's got on and then it does look a little bit more pink in the centre. So I'm just going to blot off the centre a little bit. And I'm going to apply a bit of Super Cindy, which is similar but a, a little bit more peachy pink. Deepen up the corners again with Fairy Victoria. Okay, I've never put on a bindi before, but I think it goes, gets a tiny bit higher than the brows. Is it wonky? Oh my god! Um, should I do my hair first or my sari first? Yeah. So that's the makeup look done. Now I'm gonna do my hair. She's got a middle part in. This is 
Alright, be right back. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll be back. So I've done the hair as best as I could with a lot of hairspray. And uh, I'm gonna move on to the jewelry. Guys, I'm so excited to share the jewelry with you. So this is one of them. It comes in this really, really nice black velvet thing packaging. How amazing is this necklace? This is the necklace I'm gonna wear. And then it comes with these two earrings. But I'm gonna wear bigger ones because the bigger ones are huge earrings. And oh my god, this is the thing I love the most. This Chuma is so pretty. I love pearls. And it's just so... Oh, it just looks so nice. And uh, a digger to match the necklace. So this is the one I'm gonna be wearing. So let me put this in place. It's a bit hard to do this without covering my bindi. And then the necklace. I just want to show you guys everything they sent me because it's so nice. And the staff there are so, so, so nice. So this is another necklace they sent me in case I want to layer them. How nice is that? And then, can you guys see this green necklace? It's so nice. Okay, let me show you properly. How nice is that? They actually gave me the jewellery I wore for my sister's Mendy. If you guys remember that, it was so nice and heavy but like it's still very neat and this is another choker they sent me in case i want to layer oh, look quite nice actually but I, I think i need to go quite heavy because her necklace was really big now let's do the earrings i've got so many boxes from kinza i'm gonna pin these upwards i would like them to go back but um actually i could do them back okay sick She's also got a nut on, but before I do that, I'm gonna do my uh, hand jewelry. Loads of on. these are so beautiful. And then she's also wearing these, they're called Galide. I think they are, but they sort of like dangle in the front of your bangles, so I'm gonna put these on as well. So pretty guys, I'm obsessed with everything. Then I've got a bunch of beautiful rings from Dynasty also. And then I've also sneaked some of my mum's gold rings. I won't wear this one because it's a bit big for me, but that's all of the rings. All of the bangles. Now for my nut. I haven't worn a nose stood in a long time, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's try. This isn't gonna work. Right guys, that's the completed look. Everything, all of my jewellery is from Dynasty. All of these rings you see, and the gure and the gul, whatever these dangly things are called, gulide. The only thing that is not is this nut. This is my mom's bridal nut, which is so pretty. This nut strings falling down, falling down, falling down. The um, the butter, the blouse, all the clothes are from Sima. So this is actually from a sari. This is a dupatta for a sari. And the blouse is separate and the dupatta is separate. I just matched them all together. And I think that's about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any more requests, leave them in the comments below. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100k before the end of the year. I don't think that's very possible anymore because it's already December, but let's try anyway. So please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I post any new videos. And um, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.